something small your own discretion then when you get the contracts big big contracts we can go back and give them more money then we take over the whole country this man stuffing cash into a plastic bag is the second most powerful man in african football Ultimately, the hundreds of dollars given to referees was relatively small compared with what a Nazi's undercover team handed to the most important official they targeted, Kwesi Inyantachi, the president of Ghanaian football and a major figure in football in Africa, took a gift of $65,000 from a Nazi's reporters, believing they were meeting to discuss the prospects of a sponsorship deal. <laughs> You say you even have something here for shopping for now. Oh, okay. Shopping for now. <laughs> yes, it's not for shopping. All right. For thank shopping. you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ian Tachi sits on FIFA's council and was appointed by the executive committee, one of the highest bodies in football. It is against the rules of FIFA to take any gifts of cash. Ian Tachi remains in his position as head of GFA and did not respond to a BBC request for comment. FIFA told the BBC they were investigating the allegations. They said it was a priority for FIFA to protect the integrity of its competitions. What will this investigation mean for the officials and as filmed and the tournament he focused on? The future of West African football is now hanging in the balance.